Imagine a world where the shelves in your local grocery store are empty. Sounds scary, doesn't it? But it's not just a figment of some dystopian novelist's imagination. This is the reality of shortages, a phenomenon that's becoming increasingly common in our world today. The impact of these shortages on daily life can be severe, disrupting everything from the availability of basic necessities to the stability of global economies. Consider the recent events that have taken the world by storm. Supply chain disruptions caused by global health crises, natural disasters wreaking havoc on agricultural production, trade wars affecting import and export of goods, and economic instability leading to inflation. All these factors have conspired to create the perfect storm for shortages. And it's not just food that's at risk. Medical supplies, fuel, and other essentials are also vulnerable. The domino effect of these shortages can be devastating, leading to increased prices, panic buying, and even civil unrest in extreme cases. The signs are clear. Another wave of shortages could be on the horizon, but don't let this reality send you into a panic. Instead, let it inspire you to take action. Because the best time to prepare for a shortage is before it happens. Let's face it. The world is not as rosy as the big news stations would have us believe. Things are going to get tougher, and quickly. But there's a silver lining. By understanding the reality of shortages and preparing accordingly, you can ensure that you and your family are not left high and dry when the next crisis hits. So, start now. Double-check, triple-check your preps. Make sure you have what you need. Because when it comes to surviving a shortage, the early bird catches the worm. Shortages are a stark reality that we must prepare for. But... Remember, preparation is not just about stockpiling goods, it's about being informed, being resilient, and being ready to adapt to whatever comes our way. So let's buckle up and navigate this journey together. After all, we're all in this together. But what causes these shortages? Why do they happen? Well, the reasons are as diverse as the shortages themselves. One major cause is disruptions in the supply chain. This can happen when a key factory shuts down, a shipping lane gets blocked, or a country decides to stop exporting a crucial resource. Remember the global scramble for toilet paper in 2020? That was a classic case of supply chain disruption. Natural disasters can also trigger shortages. Earthquakes, hurricanes, floods, fires. They can all wreak havoc on production and distribution networks. Picture a major earthquake that takes out roads and bridges. Suddenly, truckloads of goods can't get to where they're needed, and bingo, you've got a shortage. Then there's economic instability. If a country's economy tanks, or if there's a big spike in inflation, the cost of goods can skyrocket. And when prices go up, people often start panic buying. The result? You guessed it, shortages. Now, not all items are equally susceptible to shortages. Some things are just more vulnerable than others. Take food, for instance. Any disruption in the agricultural sector, whether it's a drought or a disease outbreak among livestock, can lead to a shortage in the food supply. Medical supplies are another big one. These items are often produced in specific regions or countries. So if something goes wrong there, whether it's a natural disaster or a political crisis, the ripple effect can be felt worldwide. And let's not forget about fuel. This is a resource that's not only vital for transportation, but also for keeping our homes warm and our lights on. Any hiccup in the oil or gas market can lead to shortages and price hikes. Understanding these causes is the first step in preparing for them. It's like seeing the storm clouds on the horizon before the rain starts to fall. You know it's time to take cover. In our next scene, we'll look at essential supplies to stockpile before the storm hits. Stay tuned. Now that we know why shortages occur, we need to know what to stockpile to survive them. Let's start with the basics. Non-perishable food items are a must. Think canned goods, dried beans, and rice. These items have a long shelf life and offer essential nutrients. And don't forget about comfort food. A little bit of chocolate or your favorite snack could be a morale booster in tough times. Next, let's talk about water. You'll need about a gallon per person per day for both drinking and sanitation. Consider storing enough for at least two weeks. And remember, water doesn't go bad, but you'll want to keep it in a cool, dark place to prevent the growth of algae and bacteria. Now, on to medications. If you or any of your family members require prescription drugs, it's wise to have an extra month's supply on hand. Also, Stock up on over-the-counter essentials like pain relievers, antacids, and allergy medications. Other essentials include hygiene items like soap, toothpaste, and toilet paper. Remember, maintaining cleanliness is crucial to prevent diseases. And while we're at it, add some basic medical supplies to your list too. Bandages, antiseptics, and a good pair of tweezers can come in handy. And let's not forget about our furry friends. If you have pets, make sure you stockpile food and any necessary supplies for them too. Now you might be thinking, where am I going to store all these supplies? 
Well, here's where creativity comes into play. Use every inch of your space wisely. Underbed storage, high shelves, and closets can be excellent places to stash your supplies. Just make sure everything is easily accessible and properly organized. And a pro tip, rotate your supplies. Use the oldest items first and replace them with fresh ones. This way, nothing goes to waste, and you're always prepared with up-to-date supplies. Stockpiling these supplies can be the difference between surviving and thriving during a shortage. So let's get ready because being prepared isn't about spreading fear, it's about spreading awareness. But survival isn't just about physical goods. Financial preparation is key. Having an emergency fund is essential in times of crisis. Picture this, you're in the thick of a shortage, prices are skyrocketing, and you're strapped for cash. Not an ideal situation, right? That's why starting to save now and reducing those unnecessary expenses is crucial. Think about it. Do you really need that fifth streaming service or could that money be better spent padding your emergency fund? And let's not forget about cash. In an age where electronic transactions are the norm, we often overlook the importance of having physical cash on hand. But what happens if the electronic payment systems go down? You'll be glad you stashed away some good old-fashioned bills. So remember, while stockpiling goods is important, don't neglect your finances. Because when the next crisis hits, you'll want to be ready. Remember, financial preparation is just as important as physical preparation. In times of crisis, community is crucial. Imagine a web of interconnected individuals, each with unique skills, resources, and knowledge. Your neighbor might be a nurse, the local grocer could have the lowdown on when the next delivery is due, or the mechanic down the road might know how to fix that generator you've been struggling with. Building these relationships isn't just about exchanging pleasantries over the garden fence. It's about creating a network of mutual support. Organize neighborhood meetings, engage with local businesses, volunteer at community events. Be the person others can rely on, and in turn, they'll be there for you. This network becomes invaluable when resources are scarce. Sharing information about what's available and where, pooling resources or even organizing bulk purchases can make a real difference. It's not just about survival, but about thriving, even in the toughest of times. Together, we can weather any storm. With shortages looming, it's time to think outside the box. When the going gets tough, the tough get creative. Shortages can be intimidating, but they also offer an opportunity to explore alternative solutions. When everyday items become scarce, we need to start considering substitutes that can fulfill the same roles. For instance, if your go-to cleaning products are out of stock, try using vinegar, baking soda, or lemon juice. These natural alternatives can be just as effective for many household cleaning tasks. Now let's talk about food. It's one of our most basic needs and often the first thing that comes to mind when we think about shortages. But what if you could reduce your dependence on supermarkets and take control of your food supply? Growing your own food can be a game changer. Start with something small, like herbs in a windowsill pot. Gradually, you can expand to vegetables and fruits. Not only will you have a fresh supply of produce, but you'll also gain a new hobby that can be therapeutic and rewarding. Speaking of self-sufficiency, let's not forget about energy. With the rise of renewable energy technologies, it's becoming increasingly feasible to generate your own power. Solar panels, wind turbines, and hydroelectric systems might require an upfront investment, but they can provide long-term savings and a degree of independence from the grid. And if you're feeling particularly adventurous, why not consider a rainwater collection system? It's a sustainable way to supplement your water supply, and it's particularly useful for tasks like watering plants or flushing toilets. Remember the goal here isn't to completely isolate yourself from society, but to build resilience and reduce your vulnerability to shortages. By harnessing these alternative solutions, you not only prepare yourself for potential crises but also contribute to a more sustainable and resilient world. Innovation and self-sufficiency can be our greatest allies in the face of shortages. So, let's roll up our sleeves and start exploring these alternatives. The future might be uncertain, but with a bit of creativity and resourcefulness, we can face it head on. Knowledge is power, especially in times of crisis. When the world spins into the unknown, the most valuable currency becomes information. It is the compass that guides us through uncharted territory and the light that illuminates a path amidst the gloom. Staying updated with reliable information is crucial. It's not about doom scrolling through social media or getting entangled in the web of rumors. It's about seeking out sources that provide accurate news and updates on the state of supply chains and local availability of goods. 
Trusted news outlets, government bulletins, and community forums can be great places to start. Remember, the goal is not to predict the future, but to prepare for it. When you're informed, you're not reacting, you're responding, you're not panicking, you're planning. So, tune in to the world around you. Seek out the truth. Ask the hard questions, and above all, keep learning. Stay informed. Stay prepared. Preparation isn't just about what's in your pantry, it's also about what's in your mind. Shortages can be a stressful time, evoking feelings of fear, anxiety, and uncertainty. It's important to remember that these feelings are normal, and it's okay to acknowledge them. However, it's equally crucial to equip ourselves with coping mechanisms to maintain our mental and emotional well-being. Practicing mindfulness can be a great starting point. It helps you stay present, focused, and calm amidst the chaos. Regular exercise can also be beneficial, promoting not only physical health, but also mental well-being by releasing endorphins, our feel-good hormones. Don't forget the power of a balanced diet and good sleep. They can significantly impact your mood and energy levels. Lastly, remember to connect with others. Share your fears and concerns, your hopes and strategies. This connection can provide emotional support and foster resilience. After all, mental and emotional preparedness is just as crucial as physical and financial readiness.